Good morning, ESM. I'm Luke Mancini. Uh, there is no John here today. Not sure what happened to him, but let's get right into news. A 15-year-old boy in Syracuse was stabbed in the chest on Sunday afternoon on Lexington Avenue and was found on 208 Columbus Avenue. A witness had called the police saying, hurry up, a boy was stabbed. The boy was rushed to Upstate University Hospital and is expected to recover. Syracuse police say that this had occurred around 1.24 p.m. and so far no other information. Carfentanelli. Carfentanelli, a drug 10,000 times stronger than morphine, was found in Utica, New York on October 16th. The drug was detected in three separate drug tests, but just one salt-sized grain can kill you. It is so strong that multiple doses of Noxaline antidote for opioid overdoses aren't always enough to save someone who used Carfentanelli, county officials say. Anyone who gives themselves or someone else Noxaline should always call 911. A pastor in Oneida County accused of spreading the coronavirus has demanded an apology. County Executive Anthony Pizzenti exposed Pastor Cecile Morris of Holland Patton of knowingly spreading cor coronavirus to dozens of people and refusing to track them down. Morris is now demanding an apology. He claims that Pizzenti's press conference was full of lies. He states that as soon as he started having symptoms of coronavirus after a trip to New York City, he immediately went to get a test. We're taking it very seriously, Morris announced to his church after receiving hate comments on social media. The county executive has yet to comment on this. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America. And to the republic for which it stands. One nation under God. Indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Changes are coming to the cafeteria. Beginning Monday, October 26, the large cafeteria will become cashless. Do students must have money on their accounts and scan their ID card at the time of the purchase. Pin pads will not be used to minimize the touching of surfaces. If a student does not have money on their account, they will not be able to purchase items. Students and parents can put money onto, school ac onto student accounts uh, using myschoolbucks.com. What is the accounting, accounting club all about? The ASM Accounting Club promotes the positive role of the accounting profession and strives to provide networking opportunities with the, poten with the potential employers and other students with similar career objectives through guest speakers, field trips, and community service through our community. Tax Preparation Assistance Program and in partnership with Core Federal Credit Union and Peace Inc. Although we are, although we are not sure what this year will bring, we can, we can set the wheels rolling and adjust as we go. Email jmock at esmschools.org and put in the student line, uh, the subject line, the words required accounting, or yes, sorry, required accounting club Zoom link, and she will send it to you ASAP. There will be a virtual meeting of the finance and accounting club at 4 p.m. on Thursday, October 22nd. Email jmock at esm.schools and put in the, and put in the, um, the the subject line, request accounting club Zoom link, and it will be sent to you ASAP. Last week, oh, wait, sorry. Last week, some Spartan pride was recognized with some pop-up parties. Those classes had everyone attend class on time, whether in school or virtually. The classes recognized were Ms. Chalinski and Ms. Corbett. Congratulations to those winners. Also winning yesterday was the field hockey team, and let's get right into sports to talk about that.
The field hockey team defeated Auburn yesterday 3-0 for the first win of the season. Goals were scored by Helena Scalaro, Olivia Grabowski, and Riley Murphy. In NFL news, the Arizona Cardinals destroyed the Dallas Cowboys last night 38-10. Running back Kenyon Drake led the team with 164 rushing yards and two rushing touchdowns. The Chiefs also had a good game, defeating the Buffalo Bills 26-17, as Patrick Mahomes had 225 passing yards and two passing touchdowns. The MLB World Series begins tonight. The LA Dodgers are playing the Tampa Bay Rays at 8.09. Fans predict a win from the Dodgers and for Mookie Betts to be the MVP. And I'm Luke with sports. Oh, sorry, actually, in upcoming games, both the boys and girls soccer team play Central Square at 6.30. The girls are at home and the boys are away. And also, the girls tennis team will have a match today at West Gen at, or against West Genesee at 4.30. And I'm Luke with sports.